This is a video to educate about the differences between rotating or drum aeration versus reciprocating style. There are multiple advantages of reciprocating aeration versus rotating or drum aeration. However, there are also applications that call for one over the other. This video will depict the differences and highlight the benefits of these two technologies. First of all is how the unit aerates. Reciprocating aerators have four to eight tines that move up and down into the turf, while drum aerators use a rotating motion and have up to 42 tines. Certainly, the benefit here is that a reciprocating aerator has far fewer tines to service, saving time and money. A second difference to consider is walk or ride. While a ride-on may be faster, it puts approximately half the number of holes in the same pass as a reciprocating aerator. The lower quantity of hole output often requires operators to make two passes versus one. The ride-on choice often is lower quality output or when two passes are needed, more time on a yard is required than a single pass with a similar size reciprocating unit. When doing long run, one pass commercial work, cemeteries, sports turf, or parks, a sulky on a reciprocating unit is an option, but a stand-on is faster. However, this speed advantage on large properties is lessened when doing high volume residential work. In particular, there is no need to lift reciprocating aerators when turning or avoiding obstacles. On the other hand, walk behind drum and in most cases stand on aerators require operators to lift the drum either physically or via a hydraulic switch. In many cases, failure to lift the drum on each turn can result in damage to obstacles like sprinkler heads or damage to turf. This can cause costly repairs to both the machine and turf, especially in the case of chain-driven ride-on aerators. Consider the productivity and ease of use of in-ground turning on a reciprocating unit that allows operators to both save time and experience less fatigue. This outcome increases productivity and reduces employee turnover. In fact, hydro-drive reciprocating aerators are as simple as walking behind a lawnmower. Another benefit in productivity with a reciprocating unit is that some units offer reverse aeration. When aerating in tight areas, reversing the machine quickly and easily while aerating saves time and is less fatiguing to the operator. Drum style aerators will not aerate in reverse. One last difference to consider is variable aeration density. This feature allows operators of reciprocating machines to increase the amount of holes per square feet as they slow down the machine. This is an ideal feature when a diseased or dead area requires a high volume of holes so it can be easily and quickly patched and repaired with new seed plus the seating can be billed for. Drum or rotating aerators do not have this feature. They have the same number of holes no matter how fast or slow the operator goes. This often causes operators on drums to spend excess time aerating over those patch areas multiple times to prepare them for seed and patch. So we hope this has helped you understand the differences between these types of aerators. In summary, we believe both units have their place but one shines in longer run applications like larger sports, commercial, and cemetery, while the other outperforms in higher volume residential applications. For more information on Billy Goat reciprocating aerators or other Billy Goat products, visit your local Billy Goat dealer or go to billygoat.com.